Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. This is my Great Pyrenees Mella, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to trim your Great Pyrenees' nails. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So the first thing I want to share with you guys is basically the tools I use. So here are the nail clippers we use. They are just a basic pair of standard nail clippers. You can get any nail clippers. I just definitely would recommend finding ones that are extremely sharp because Great Pyrenees' nails are very thick. The next tool we use is this Dremel. This helps with grinding down your Great Pyrenees' nails and it helps with um, getting their nails short enough but not too short to where you'd accidentally clip their quick because you don't want them to bleed. And the last tool we use for cutting Mello's nails is this Paul Pad Shaver or this Paul Hair Shaver. So this basically just helps clean up his paws before we go to clip his nails. That way we're not getting his hair cut and we're not like ripping his hair when we try to dremel his nails. This is great for getting all of his hair trimmed back. I also definitely would recommend having cornstarch or um, septic powder available because that will definitely help if you accidentally cut your dogs quick. Then I definitely would recommend having that available because that will help stop the bleeding if you just put it on it. So now let's talk about how often you should clip their nails. It's generally recommended that you clip them every one to two weeks. Every dog's going to be different, so some dog's nails will grow faster. Some dog's nails will take longer to grow, so you won't have to cut them as often. Mello, we cut his about every one to two weeks as much as we can. He hates his nails getting cut. He had a bad experience where his quick got cut too short at the vet. So we are, we do have to um, give him lots of pets and treats during nail clippings to try and get him to get his nails cut. It is super important to cut your dog's nails because overgrown nails can cause a lot of problems and it puts pressure on their joints. So your dog's nails shouldn't touch the floor at all. They should be completely off the floor. If your dog has a long quick, cutting them back a little bit each time will help push the quick back. That way you can cut them shorter. You just don't want to cut their quick, which is the red part of their nail. And Great Pyrenees are generally easy to do because their nails are white. So it's very easy to um, not cut the quick. However, it can still happen. So when you first get your Great Pyrenees puppy, things I would recommend doing is getting them used to their paws being touched. This isn't super important for getting their nails cut. You don't just want to go up to a dog and start cutting its nails because that can be extremely scary for a puppy. So you want to start off by doing like one paw at a time and getting your puppy comfortable with it. They're big dogs, so you want them to be comfortable with their nails getting cut. And just take the nail clippers. I like I would just take the nail clippers and touch the nail clippers to their paws and then reward them, give them a treat. Do one nail, clip one nail, give them a treat. You know, just reward through this process and even if you don't get all four paws cut in one session, it's fine as long as you get a couple of nails cut or however fast you or slow you need to take it because again, each dog is going to be different. So I definitely would recommend taking nail clipping slow because in the end, you want your dog to just sit there and relax and stuff. Some things that help with dogs getting their nails cut is you can get lick mats, which you can rub peanut butter on and then freeze and that helps keep the dog occupied. You can also get a Kong and fill it with yummy treats. That will also help the dog stay occupied. So now I'm gonna show you how we clip Mello's nails. So to start off with clipping Mello's nails, we generally shave his paws first. So here in these clips, you'll see me shaving his paw pads and around his toenails. This, as I said, helps make sure that the Dremel doesn't get his hair caught as they do have long hair around their feet. The next thing we do is this, we have to have a couple of people, not because he's like, squirmy or anything he just gets a little iffy about his nails being cut so we have somebody petting him giving him cookies and then I cut his nails and I will just first start off by taking the nail clippers and I clip his nails as long as short as I think I can get them without going too close to the quick and then I take the nail grinder and I just make sure to grind his nails down just to keep them from like scratching anybody because he does like to paw people so grinding them down helps smooth them out and just get them closer to the quick without having to cut them super sh short. So as I've said, the one thing you want to be careful about is not cutting their quick, and that is when you go too short and they start to bleed. I will insert a diagram right here that just shows where their quick is and how to cut their nail on an angle. Nails afterwards, as you can see, they are 
cut. Here are his back nails. And that's just how short. His could probably go a little bit shorter. Um, we did cut them about like a week ago so they could go a little bit shorter, but yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video or if you have any more questions on how to cut Great Pyrenees nails, please ask down below. Um, that is going to be all for this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye!